I'm thinking now that uh, the reason I was taken aboard was because it, there was no choice. I would have, uh, I would have been dead. When you hear about someone being abducted by aliens, it usually brings up the sense that it is being done against the individual's will and seems innately violent. The abductee is poked and prodded for research, then left almost discarded. This is how the Travis Walton case was essentially portrayed in the movie Fire in the Sky. And this was, in fact, how Travis interpreted the incident himself. However, recently, it seems that Travis has re-examined his beliefs and is coming to a somewhat different conclusion. I used to uh, sort of uh, accept the terminology abduction, but now I'm calling it more of an ambulance call. I really think it was an accident. I don't think they were firing at me or, you know, trying to, you know, stun me or punish me or anything like that. I think it was some kind of a an effect of the propulsion, they were powering up to, to leave uh, and just get away from us. And I raised up and got too close, at, and I think some kind of energy just found its way to ground. In hindsight, you know, I'm thinking that a lot of the terror and, and a lot of the fear that I was reacting with and the pain I was experiencing had nothing to do with anything that was being inflicted on me, and it was just sort of an accident of circumstance. The crest of the ridge was to our right and a little you know, higher than, than the road itself. When he started speaking about his experience more than three decades ago, the subject was looked upon with much ridicule. And through his many lectures and travels, Travis has been able to connect with others that have had similar experiences. I really feel a kindred uh, uh, spirit with these people that have, uh, you know, gone through the kind of uh, emotional impact because, you know, prior to this, you know, even though everybody's probably thought about it to some extent, to, to know for sure suddenly changes your whole perspective on the whole you know, life in general. I came to realize there's some very good cases out there, some very important things, some people that really uh, ring a familiar bell with me. And there are other cases that are, you know, I have my own doubts about. But I resolved uh, not to, you know, speak publicly about the difference between the two because, uh, you know, I, it's just not fair to do so without having done the research. When you run into people that have uh, experienced something so profound, it, it is kind of uh, validating. Walton has carried this emotional burden with him through most of his adult years, and some of the torment can still be seen in his eyes. However, his sense of confidence is also evident, something that is a result of years of contemplation and coming to terms with his experience. Having Steve Pierce and John Goulet speak out about the event is also something that has helped give Walton a sense of solace. I think having the other guys, uh, you know, validate, you know, I'm not just alone. I, I feel like a broken trail for them, but at the same time, having them come along and add to, uh, you know, what I'm saying, you know, really does help a lot. Recently, Open Minds brought attention to the polygraph test that was administered by law enforcement shortly after the incident. And as technology improves, Travis continues to take these tests. Here recently, um, I underwent two more tests uh, from a, a firm that uh, does work for the uh, Albuquerque Police Department, New Mexico State Prisons, and uh, even uh, the uh, United States Marshals. And this was state-of-the-art uh, methods, state-of-the-art equipment, and I passed both tests again. One thing that uh, people tend to overlook is, is the uh, polygraph evidence, you know. Uh, to have uh, this, uh, this many people passing a polygraph test uh, on a single issue, you know, back at the time was judged, the, the odds against that would have been a million to one, in the words of the uh, president of the American Polygraph Association. The truth of why this happened to Walton will probably never be known, and one can only speculate as to what really goes on inside someone after such an occurrence. Walton's persistence to try and make sense of something so profound has given him a deeper understanding of humanity, an understanding we should all respect. Having gone through this thing and try, uh, trying to adjust to it, of course, you know, it was a, 
a deep, emotionally troubling uh, process, but it was uh, forcing a, a kind of maturity on me. It forced me to develop a lot of a, a more complete philosophy, a more uh, broader outlook that I probably wouldn't have come to until I'd lived a lot more years. I think that this experience really has given me a great deal of insight about society, you know, and people in general. I have come to realize that with the burden of dealing with the experience comes a great deal of responsibility. An opportunity to maybe, you know, make something good come of it. And so I'll hang in there a little longer.